Hey everyone, welcome back. It's David Nguyen, your Sophos product manager here at Bluechip Invotech. Last time we took a closer look at the 100 series models, but in a model comparison type of view. This time we're gonna be unboxing each of them and taking a look at the interfaces and the tech specs. For the eight port switches, let's see what's inside the box. Got your switch, we'll take a look at that in a bit. Power cable, the power brick's on the external in this one, and you've got rubber feet and mounting screws for the wall mount. Of course, the manual, quick start guide. That's about it. For the switches, your ports in the front, vents on the side, of course a grounding screw in the back with your power cable in, and your switch for power mode on. The bottom's got a serial number and all of your little finer details, top Cisco Sophos. Two SFP ports on the side over there, not SFP plus, that comes on 24 port and the 48 port models. Uh, but for your indicators, you have power, you've got your fault if there's an error, you've got your PoE max if you've exceeded your 110 watt draw on this particular model, and you've got your PoE mode and LAN mode. If you press this button, which is the LED mode, you can switch between them, which will control the left hand side indicator on each of these ports between speed and PoE status. The right hand LED indicates link and activity. Let's see what we've got here. It's a hefty one. 24 port switch. You got quick start guide and manual and a box of goodies. Take a closer look at this in a little bit. For the accessories, you've got the power cable, a RJ45 to DB9 connector, which goes out the front of the serial port, COM port, and rack mount ears, all right? With screws and rubber feet, just in case you need a desktop mount that as well. That's it for the goodies box. If we take a look at the 24 port switch, the front, all the ports, vents on the side, of course, power plug on the back. Four SFP Plus ports on the side over here, 24 port, one gigabyte Ethernet connection ports on the front, and your COM communications serial port over here. The LEDs are much the same as the eight port switch, so there's not much uh, to be said there, but it is power fault, PoE max, LAN mode, and uh, PoE mode. Right there, so. So now we've got the 48 port one, the big one. I'm not gonna unbox that. It's the same as the 24 port switch. You got your manuals as well. Box of goodies with the rack mount ears and the RJ45 to DB9 connector. So all that's the same as the 24 port switch. But on the front of the switch, we now of course have 48 ports. This is a maximum power draw of 710 watts. So, uh, you know, lots more to fit in. Four SFP Plus ports on the side. And of course, your LED indicators now don't have writing because there's not enough room. Uh, so they are uh, embedded with the lettering inside there. You've got your COM communications port for the, uh, you know, in order to manage it via your, your local web consoles, whatever you might have. And then on the back, we've got the power port. And on the sides, the vent, that's the 48 port switch. So with everything we've talked about, about the software switches today, it makes it versatile for so many use cases. So many branch office scenarios, uh, remote home offices, small to medium businesses, retail outlets, you name it. In order to choose exactly which switch you'll need, make sure to calculate uh, how many ports you're gonna need and whether you'll need PoE or not. If you don't need PoE, then you're good to go. But if you do need PoE, make sure to calculate the power usage of all of your devices, uh, leaving some room for the future, of course. For any sizing questions, contact Sophos at bluechipit.com.au.